how to use HubSpot CRM for sales. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and for today's video, I will show you how you can easily use this all-in-one software for small businesses known as HubSpot CRM. And with this platform, you can easily streamline your sales. And by the way, guys, just a short overview of HubSpot. HubSpot is a powerful and free software that helps small companies to better manage their marketing, sales, service and operations efforts so basically this platform can assist companies to directly interact with their customers to build relationships and increase and make the sales process more easier so if you are a beginner for this software or you own a small business and want to streamline your sales then this video is perfect for you to learn how to use hubspot for sales so let's get started so first, visit their website, which is the HubSpot.com. And here, we will be focusing on the sales features of this platform. So to go to their sales features, just go down. And down here, you can see the sales hub. So this is the sales CRM software to help you get deeper insight into prospects and automate the task you hate and close more deals faster. So these are the popular features that you can get from this sales hub, which is the advanced CRM, meeting scheduling, and payments. So to get started, just click here. And you will be redirected to this page where you can get the tools for free. So as you can see here, you can start with the free tools and later on, you can upgrade as you grow. So with your free tools, these are the features that you can get. And by the way, free sales CRM tools for the individual salesperson to connect with more leads and close more deals. So some of the popular features that you will have from the free tools is contact, deal, and task management, email tracking notification, email templates and scheduling, document sharing, in-app calling, call tracking, meeting scheduling, codes, live chat. So I guess these are the features that you need to get started. So let's just go ahead and click get started for free. And by the way, guys, you can sign up using your email and create your own password, or you can also sign up directly using your Google account. So here I just signed up with my Google account. So let me go ahead and click continue with this user. So I will go ahead and continue with my account to log in. So I successfully log into my account and this is the main dashboard of HubSpot. So here the first thing that we need to do is to first invite our team. For you to invite your team, just go to your settings. And over here, just go to your left side corner and go to user and teams. And here you can easily invite your team. So to invite, just click the create user. And then you can just provide the email of your team so that they will be receiving an email invitation for them to sign up and be part of the team inside HubSpot. So just enter the email of your team member here. And by the way, guys, you can also create multiple users at once. So you just need to upload the CSV file over here. But let's go ahead and click next over here. And next is to give permission to this new member that you just invited. And by the way, guys, if you have a multiple team in your organization, then you can choose a team here. But multiple team is only available to premium plan. So for a free account, you can only have one team. So I will just skip this part. So here you have your, your CRM access. So by default, all users have a basic level of CRM access, including the ability to create records. You can customize that access using the permission below. So here, so for example, to delete some information, to edit, and also for views. So you can change this one, like for example, from everything, you have team only, owned only, and no one. Same with the edit. So let me just keep everything here. 
And for the CRM tools, we'll also have the same information here. So if you would like to give this new member permission to delete some workflow, then you can just check this one over here and to edit and also to view the workflow. And for communicate, you can also select everything here, but you also have different option here, depends on you. So let me just keep everything as it is. So let me just go ahead and click next. And after that, you can send this invite to this new member so that the new member can sign up or create an account and join your team. So let me just go ahead and click send, click done. And as you can see here, we added a new member. This is the one that I just invited. So once you are done inviting all your team inside your HubSpot account, then the next thing that you can do is to import your contacts. So just go to contacts. So to add contacts, you have two options here. You can manually create contact or you can also import all the contact list that you have through CSV files. So just click import and then click on start and import. And no worries, guys, because HubSpot will also give you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can import your um, contact information here inside your HubSpot account. As you can see here, you have your import guide. Or you can also download the sample spreadsheet and then you can make use of that format more easier. So let me just cancel this one here. And once you imported or added your contacts, then the next thing that you can do is to connect your channel or your inbox. So go to conversation and go to inbox. And over here, just go to inbox settings down here on your left side corner. So here we can start connecting our channel to this platform. So you can manage all your conversation in one place by connecting your email, your forms, your chat, and your Facebook Messenger. So you just need to connect a channel here. You can select email, chat, forms, or Facebook. So let me just cancel this one here. And after you connected your email or your messenger or chat channel then the next thing that you need to connect is your other application or other apps that you use in your business you can just go here and then go to app marketplace so you can just integrate all the application that you use in your business in this hubspot platform for you to manage everything in just one place so no worries guys if your apps is not available here or you cannot see it here then you can contact their customer service for assistance so once you connected all your other apps in this platform then the next thing that you can do is go to sales and then you can create your deals here so here under your deals is where you can create different pipeline. For example, for the sales pipeline. And here I just created one deal, just a test. And if you like to create a new one, then just click here, create deal. So I just created and let's see what I create here. And this is a sample that I just created today. And this is what the deal look like so you can also add different stage so for example this is a default stage by hubspot so they have the appointment scheduled first and then after that qualified to buy then go to the next stage which is the presentation scheduled and then the decision maker both in and then contract sent then close one or close lost so this is the different stages that you can add in your deal and you can customize this one depends on what kind of stage you want to add in your uh, business so with this platform you can easily manage if what are the deals that you need to focus on and to continue and what are the deals that you need to give up and delete because this deal or your clients is not qualified to be the perfect candidate for your products or for the thing that you are 
uh, selling. And also here you can create tasks and documents and also you can set up your meetings. So here you can easily create and manage your meetings and then you can easily connect your calendar as well here. And you have your report here to check your analytics uh, tools and also to check your weekly or monthly report. So I guess that's all for today's video about how to use HubSpot CRM for sales. So that is the basic information about the sales hub. If you have any question, guys, just comment down below. And thank you so much for watching.